Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to discuss the phylum Mollusca. The word Mollusca is derived from Latin language, the Molluscus. Molluscus means soft. So basically, the members of this phylum are all soft bodied. Therefore, these are called Mollusks and the phylum is called Mollusca. Common examples of the phylum Mollusca are snail, its biological name is Helix aspersa, the oyster or Astria lurida, octopus or Octopus bedai, slug, freshwater mussel, marine mussel, squid, and cuttlefish. These are the common examples of the phylum mollusca out of which the snail and slug these are terrestrial animals rest of the animals are all aquatic now we will discuss the classification of phylum mollusca there are six classes of phylum mollusca out of which three are of utmost importance these three classes are the gastropoda bivalvia and cephalopoda thus gastropoda is named after its large muscular foot poda means foot and gastro here refers to its large muscular Foot. So the animals with large muscular foot are called gastropoda. These are snail and slugs. These are terrestrial animals. This class is bivalvia. Bivalvia bi means two. So these animals have two parts in their shells. For example, freshwater mussel, marine mussel, or oyster. These are the animals which belong to the class bivalvia. The third class is cephalopoda. Cephalopoda are the animals with well-developed nervous system. Are the mollusk with well-developed nervous system are called cephalopoda. For example, the squid, cuttlefish, and octopus. So these are the three classes of mollusca: the gastropoda, bivalvia, and cephalopoda. So basically the mollusks have soft bodied so in order to protect these soft bodied the nature has gifted them with the shells. These shells are secreted from mantle and are made up of calcium carbonate. So these shells which are made up of calcium carbonate are also called as calcareous shells. These shells may be of one to two pieces and has three conditions. The calcareous cells secreted by the mantle of the mollusk has three conditions. First, these may be external. For example, in case of snail, these may be internal. For example, in case of cuttlefish, or even the shell may be absent. For example, in octopus, there is no shell. The phylum mollusca is the second largest phylum of the invertebrates, comprises 80,000 to 85,000 species. 80,000 to 85,000 species while the first largest phylum is phylum arthropoda subsequent to arthropods the phylum mollusca is the second largest phylum of the kingdom animalia or invertebrates and it comprises 8 to 85,000 species other characteristics of the phylum bear are triple plastic animals in which the body is composed of three layers these are bilateral symmetrical it means that their body can be divided into two equal halves by the imaginary line so these are also the silomates having free body cavity or empty body space in them and then is the mantle mantle is the tough flexible coat of the body of mollusks in case of mollusks their bodies are covered with a thick coat called mantle and the space between this mantle and body is called mantle cavity space between body and mantle most of the organs like respiratory organs, the excretory organs, the reproductive organs, these are opened in the mental cavity. The mental also secretes the calcareous shell in case of the mollusk as we have discussed in the second point. The bodies of the mollusk may be divided into three parts. First is head, second is dorsal, visceral, hump. This hump like projection or swollen part on the dorsal surface of the body which contains visceral organs therefore it is called dorsal visceral hump. And then there is the muscular foot which lies on the ventral surface so this is called ventral muscular foot which is used as locomotory organ next the respiration these animals respire through gills these animals bear radula radula is the rasping tongue so the animals bear rasping tongue called radula along with the horny teeth so teeth are also present in these animals Next is the digestive system. So these have complete digestive system starting at the mouth and ending at the anus. So both mouth and anus are present and digestive glands, digestive enzymes are also present for the digestion of food. Next is the circulatory system. So these animals bear open circulatory system having hemocele, the body fluid 
responsible for transportation is called hemocele and it is colorless fluid containing the white blood cells the hemoglobin pigment is absent so this is the colorless fluid hemocele a single heart having three chambers one ventricle and two auricles so the heart of these animals bear three chambers one ventricle and two auricles the blood is colorless containing white blood cells these animals are non segmented so their bodies are non segmented next is the habitat of the animals are the mollusks as i have told you earlier that the snail and slug these two are terrestrial animals found in the gardens and fields while rest of the animals as as i have been listed these are all aquatic so snail and slug these are terrestrial while rest of the animals are all aquatic these are all free living animals without any parasitic member the nervous system the nervous system comprises three pairs of ganglion these are orange colored ganglion which are interconnected by the nerve cords and these ganglion send the nerve cords to whole body parts for the coordination and control of the body next is the reproductive system so sexes are separate we can say that these are unisexual animals male have white testes while females have reddish ovaries female is oviparous and lays eggs and then these eggs are fertilized in the gills fertilization occurs in the gills so we can say the fertilization is external because it takes place in the gills next is the larva so they bear a larval stage called trochophore larva trochophore larva means the free swimming larva so it is free swimming larva then and as it bears the larval stage so it means that metamorphosis also takes place metamorphosis comprises the all developmental stages right from the fertilization of the ova till the development of adult for example in some cases in some animals when the young one is born or it is hatched from the egg it doesn't resemble the adult one and this young one which does not resemble the adult one this is called larval stage or larva and then this larva starts promoting ecdysis growth and development and attains the shape of the adult so this whole process the enzyme of developmental stages right from the fertilization of the ova till the development of the adult stage this is called metamorphosis so mollusks also show the metamorphosis mechanism next is the excretion so these have specialized organ for excretion these are called metanephridia we will discuss the economical importance of the phylum mollusca these are significantly important each member of the phylum mollusca has its own importance pertaining to the economical side for example the snail the most common garden insect contains fasciola hepatica in it fasciola hepatica as we have know as you have seen that fasciola hepatica it was the liver fluke and the cows sheep goat etc these feed on the grasses in the fields these also ingest the snail containing the fasciola hepatica and in turn these animals are infested with this parasite the fasciola hepatica causing liver cirrhosis and liver damage to these animals the slug slug damage the garden plants eat eat away the garden plants so destroy the garden plants the flowers the shells of these animals can be used in jewelry ornamental purpose decoration and even in the button industries so the shells of the mollusks the calcareous shells can be used in the jewelry ornamental purpose decorative purpose as well as in the buttons industry moreover the oyster oyster produce pearls and these pearls are very much precious and can be used in the jewelry in rings and necklaces these are very much important very much precious shells secreted by the oysters moreover some of the animals some of the members of the phylum mollusca like say the cuttlefish the octopus and freshwater mussel the octopus cuttlefish and the mussels these are edible and have delicious taste of the european countries these are eaten by the people with great zeal and another member the torudo the torudo is called ship wood eating worm so this is the worm present in the aquatic environment which eat away the ship wood cause destruction and damage to the wood planks of the ship so this was the economical importance of the phylum mollusca and general characteristics as well as the example of phylum mollusca hope this lecture will bring you the fruitful results thank you